Well, we are wrapping up today's show at the Italian Cultural Center, surrounded by wonderful smells and even more wonderful people. We have Lindsay with us, who's going to be showing us how to make a treat ahead of St. Joseph's Day. And there's also a big event coming up we want to let you know about um, that the Italian Cultural Center is doing at TAPO this weekend. Yes. So St. Joseph's Day is obviously a very important holiday in Italian culture, so we will be hosting a St. Joseph's Day table at Tapo on Chandler Street on Saturday the 18th. We do still have some tickets available for the 7 o'clock seating. Unfortunately, the 5 o'clock is already sold out. So if you're interested in coming, definitely go to our website, get your tickets now, because I can't promise they're going to be there by Saturday. Um, but in the meantime, what I thought would be kind of fun would be to talk about some of the really traditional Italian dishes that you would serve at St. Joseph's Day, because it's not your spaghetti and meatballs right. kind of thing. So uh, today I thought we would make some zipole. Yay! Yeah. Which are delicious. <laughs> and for people who may not know, what is that? It is kind of an Italian donut crossover with like a fried dough. So it's really exciting. <laughs> we actually are going to make it with two fillings today. Ooh. I've got a cannoli cream and a vanilla custard. All right. Well, let me... there's all sorts of different things you can do with these. I feel like I should get out of your way. <laughs> no, it's okay. So we can. <laughs> Let's get started. What do we need to do first? Okay, so have you ever made anything like a uh, cream puff or a shoe pastry before? Sort of, but it was a, a huge failure. So it's I feel okay. like that doesn't Today's count. Today's the day. We're gonna we're gonna make this work. <laughs> so the first thing that we're going to do is start with how you would traditionally make a cream puff. Okay. Slight variations on uh, the traditional way of doing it. Now, I decided to modify this recipe a little bit. So don't tell too many Italian grandmas because they may come after me. We're gonna mix uh, two cups of water and then our half a cup of buttered flavored Crisco. Ooh, yes, so that just goes right in. I'm terrible at this, but I eyeball so much, but I feel like that's the authentic Italian cooking. That's you know? right, a you little bit of this, a little bit. Yeah, exactly. And it looks utterly unappetizing, but that is the start of our pastry here. We don't really have like small things in this kitchen, unfortunately. Cannoli cream for everybody. Yes, <laughs> it's like we do everything on a big scale. We're Italian, we got a lot of people we gotta feed here. St. Joseph's Day is a lot of fun. And actually, so the, the whole festival originates from the fact that there was a famine in the 10th century. And the people of Sicily prayed to St. Joseph that he would intervene, and the rains came, and out of appreciation, they started celebrating St. Joseph's Day. This is the get to it. This is we want to eat it yes. sooner rather than later. I'm going to use an actual vanilla bean. Ooh, yes. So go ahead, yeah, see? <laughs> Isn't that fun? Yes. There you go, yeah. And if you slow down a little bit too with it, then you won't drag so much of the the batter along with it. Yeah, there you go. Now we are just waiting on them to brown. And I just kind of turn it one way, pipe in, turn it the other way, pipe in. And then just a little bit of powdered sugar on them. Oh, look at that. Well, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you. This is so wonderful. Not a bad way to wrap up Most Buffalo for today. Thank you to Lindsay and everybody at the center for their hospitality and the treats. And if you want to know more information about the St. Joseph's fundraising dinner coming up this weekend, just go to ccibuffalo.org. That's Most Buffalo for today. I'm Kate Welsh, chauffeur. Be well, stay well. We'll see you next time.